Hello everybody, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a long overdue Dollar Tree haul. And I'm going to get started because it's quite big. It's over a couple of trips. So yeah, our family got hit with the week of the colds. Just had colds, it's all good, don't worry. But because of the new protocols, you can't send your kids to school unless they have a negative test or the symptoms have gone in a certain span of time. So had everybody home. <laughs> so I have a lot of video recording to do. We'll see how I do today, as well as cleaning, laundry, etc. So let's get started. And we'll just pull from my pile here. And I'm just gonna go randomly. Nothing's organized because I'm still filming in the camper. So let's get started. Okay, so I got these red truck towels. I am not the first person to show this and I'm not the last, but these really cute kitchen towels and they have a rooster on them. Honestly, you guys, I like them more for this than this. However, the red truck's pretty cute. So I got two of those for, I don't know, I, I love the rooster, like that, you know, that's so me, but, and the apples and the farm, but yeah, I just wanted to get two for gifts and, and things like that, so I got those. I also got these Laura Secord Biscotti, one in, sorry about the glare, one in double chocolate and one in almonds. These make really great Christmas gifts. Laura Secord's, Secord's a really good brand. And you can't go wrong for $1.25. Here in Canada, everything in the Dollar Tree is $1.25. In the US, it's a dollar. So you can't go wrong thinking ahead for Christmas. I do do my own Christmas baking, but these make great, you know, things for teachers and stuff where you don't want to send in homemade kind of thing. So yeah, got that. This one I just got for myself. I love all things ginger. So I got the mini biscottis and I thought they'd be, sorry, this light. It's funny, I have a light here because out in the trailer it's kind of dark and it's kind of glaring. I apologize. But uh, anyway, just this mini biscotti and they're really tiny. I don't crave sweets. I'm not a big sweets. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like them. I like you know, dessert on holidays and everything, but I gravitate more to savory, like chips, cheese and crackers. Yeah, that's, I'm a ch huge cheese and crackers person, so. Yeah, so that. This, you guys, I know. I know for you guys, for me, it is the most exciting find. It is, I found these, and I could probably recreate them now that I've found them. They are three pot and pan protectors it's kind of fallen down here but three pot and pan protectors and we only use cast iron and I have basically these sizes actually I do have these sizes so my big one the next size and then this is the one we use for our eggs and then I also have a set out in the trailer but I wasn't thinking that day I was only thinking in the house anyway my kids get so frustrated when I stack them because then, you know, they put them on the stove and they smoke on the bottom because they've sat in the, because cast iron you have to keep, you know, oiled or whatever, seasoned or whatever. So they get frustrated with me. So when I saw those, I was super excited. So, um, you know, I don't need to take them out. You can kind of see the purpose. So you can stack them without, you know, and I don't know how well these are going to wash up or anything. Uh, it just says machine wash in cold water with light colors. So I don't know the material or anything, but I just figured I will probably draw these on paper before I use them, and then I can figure out a good, better material to use if these don't last. But hey, for $1.25, we're going to give them a shot. Next, I got a set of these, and I'm on the hunt for more of the collection for a friend. And, uh, yeah, so they are for her little stash I'm collecting. And, guys, I missed out 
on the fall of these and I'm so bummed out. I did not get them this year. I hope Dollar Tree brings them back. However, I stocked up for the Christmas and for Christmas decor and I got it in the gold, the red, and my favorite, the white. So I just, when I saw them there, I'm like, grab them. Uh, my store goes, gets stuff quick and it goes quick. So I wasn't there in the right kind of time. Oh, sorry. If you can see lipstick going up the, the, the skin. Sorry, I have my grandma's lips and it does that. It'll, it always goes, you know, trying age, whatever. I'm gonna have to, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Okay, we're going in this bag, Don. Here we go. So, nothing new that others haven't shown, but I fell in love with these kids. I'm gonna say boys because I have sons. Snowball fights. So I got, I think just two, I don't know. Um, I'll get into the bag in a minute, but I know I got two packs because I have four kids. So I'm gonna create something, because this is what my boys do. This is what boys do. When the school bus is coming, when they get off the bus, they throw snow at each other. So when I saw these, I'm like, yep, yeah, gotta come up with something with those. Because they're just, they're just so my boys. I picked up one of these, Red Truck Winter Village, and the trailer. They're just so cute, so I'm going to come up with something with those. So stay tuned, you guys. My brain has not stopped. I am totally in crafty decor, home decor, totally in that mode right now. And while it's going, it's got to go. <laughs> like, it's got to get done because stuff happens all the time here. So, like... I have kids, that's life, right? <clears throat> like they give you your their colds. <laughs> so yeah, I have lots of plans, so I'm very excited to get on them and get them up for you guys. I just got a few, oh, I guess I got two of those, sorry, two of those. And this store, which we'll get, I have more, because I. but the store I was at, um, I only got, they only had the gingerbread men. So I got one pack there, and I just love these. I absolutely love these. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I absolutely love gingerbread men. You know how everyone has their favorite Christmas thing, whether it's snowflakes or penguins or the red truck or whatever. Mine's gingerbread men, hands down. Always, kind of always has been, so yeah. Okay, kind of jumping all over the place. I got these over the rainbow uh, bracelets and I just got them they're they're bows they look like little bows but they could also be used for little spiders for uh, any Halloween projects and you get you know there's they're two kid bracelets for dollar 25 but I'll be breaking them up and putting them in with my embellishments I don't have a use for this at the moment, but I wanted to get it before they're gone and have to get restocked. But they are, uh, most of you have seen those. If you haven't, what they are is the, it's a 3D wreath form and it forms, come on light, uh, that. So it forms a full circle. They're tied together right now, so I can't show you. But yeah, it makes a full 3D circle. Love this. So I got it because... I love making wreaths all the time, so yeah. I just wanted to get one, and we'll go from there. Okay, in this bag, okay, so like I said, this is just one store. In this bag, I'm just going to finish off with these Crafter Square Donut stickers. I have a project I am working on, and this is going to go really well for that project. So I wanted to get them for that, and the rest are just, you know, I'll use them in fried meals and stuff. And then this, I know you've all seen it, and I was so happy to find it, was this set. So yeah, Tina App actually just hauled these the other day, and she follows a channel, I forget the name, I'm sorry, is it a Mennonite mom? I can't remember. Anyway, the lady had her husband build one of these and put strawberries in them. So going to do that next summer on our deck, our back deck. Love that idea. So. Anyway, I love these. These are so pretty and they're gonna come in handy for so many projects. So yeah, got those. Okay, 
that's it for that bag. But I got two, I got my 31 bag here and a box yet. So I just love the dollar stores. Oh, cardboard's falling. Oh, might as well show you. I got a piece of foam board. Uh, I had four of them and I needed them for my chicken brooder, which is when you hatch chicks in an incubator, you have to keep them warm. So you have to have a heat lamp and it's called a brooder that the chicks grow in. Well, I needed to insulate a cage and I used those and they worked perfectly for that. But those ones obviously went in the garbage and I needed, I just slowly building my collection. I actually need one right now for projects. So I just got one. So during corn on the cob season, I'm not a big napkin buyer for our family. We just like use paper towels if we need them. I don't know. We, I've just never been a big put out a napkin at supper kind of person. I don't know. I just don't. But uh, when the last time my in-laws were here, I, sorry, I had no napkins I was willing to share for food. <laughs> so y'all know I got my crafting ones, but they weren't getting pulled out. Like, no. So uh, I did, we just used paper towel, but my, 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 my in-laws are, they're actually down. They came down yesterday from Sault Ste. Marie. They're down. They're at my sister-in-law's house, but they will be arriving here, which is why I got to get these videos done because they always stay in our trailer because we have like a double slash queen bed out here. I can't, I don't know. Anyway, that's where they stay. We, we have heat and it's great. It's perfect. There's a fridge out here. There's internet. So yeah. Anyway, because of that, I got some napkins. So my mother-in-law will be really happy. I actually have napkins. <laughs> Again, got them. 150 buck 25. She'll be happy. Yeah, it was so funny when I told her I had crafting napkins, but were, they weren't coming out. You should have seen her face. It was hysterical. Anyway, okay, going on with the haul. I found these, you guys, but I did not find, and I have four of them. I did not find the foiled ones and I asked my manager friend there, this is the Exeter store, I asked my friend there, my manager friend there, if they did get them in because I saw uh, there's four or five of these sitting on a bottom shelf and I caught them out of the corner of my eye and I asked her and she said we did but they flew off the shelves and she said there is, she thinks there's more coming, she was really busy because she sent her uh, cashier for lunch. So she was running the till and I didn't want to bug her too much, but, uh, because if I tell her, I've told her before, if there's a hot item like last year with the ribbon, she reordered because if she knows she can sell it, she'll get it. So I wanted to tell her that like these are a hot item, but she thinks that there are more coming in, in the foil. Anyway, I hope so. So I got, anyway, I got, oh, here's the foil ones here for those of you. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure you know, but uh, anyway, I got the pattern ones. So I got two for myself and two for my friends. Um, sorry, I thought that was such a good idea. I wanted to put the card up there for Karen to, to cover up the furnace thermostat in my 1990s decor in here, but it's falling. Okay. I don't even know where I was at. Let's just go. Oh, these. I hope more come in. For those of you who are interested, I know most like 99.1, 99.9, sorry, of my subscribers follow Tina Kazarian. If you don't, I'm going to link the video down below. She has done a demo on these with her big shot. So I'll link that video down below. These work perfectly and she shows you in that video, they cut perfectly in the die cutting machines. So I will leave her tutorial. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I didn't, I was sorry. I hadn't been there, but I was, I was kind of worried because a lot of the sticker backs don't cut well. They cut like butter and she shows that. So yes. Okay. Uh, kind of all over guys. I apologize once again. I got more of these and I have not shared what I'm, I have not shared what I'm doing with them yet, but I will. So I got a couple more of these. Where are they? Come on, come on couple more of these so cute so because uh, yeah I only got two wanted to make sure it worked and yeah so I'll get I'll get on that for you guys so that and then I 
saw this and well, it had to come home with me. Look it, it's a gray rooster. It's totally my decor, love it. I don't know what I'm gonna use with it, but it's going in my decor. I have a lot, I have a barn bee mantle and a stone fireplace hearth and I keep all white up there and it just, this just, he's so cute. So I got that. All right, I got two snow globes. I think the other one's in the box. I was helping her, like literally, we were, other than the glass stuff, hucking stuff in the bag because her lineup was crazy. So I got two of these for projects in mind. Stay tuned. Can't wait if they work. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a different box cutting knife, like, okay, so I am so badly today, you guys, I'm sorry, I better stop, but my dad used to be a produce manager for Dominion before Dominion stores closed, and so I grew up with the metal box cutting knives, but it's kind of, it's kind of get, it's had its better days, and I see Tina Kazarian use this one all the time, and she likes, like, I see she, her use it, it looks good, so I finally picked one up, because mine's getting... Well, my dad, <coughs> my dad's been retired for, we're getting close to 10 years. And even before that, so he worked for, he ended up getting a job for the town of Elmer, like, like the guy that does the plows and, you know, all that. And uh, <coughs> he did that for 25 years. So it's been a long time since my dad worked at Dominion. Okay, I have to show this because I need to, I'm going to start coughing. Uh, these were in my little clearance rack. I'm so sorry you guys I'm at the end of this cold uh, they're on the clearance rack and they were 50 cents I grabbed two green apple and we're gonna open her because otherwise I'm gonna cough through this video I apologize I'm so sorry but oh that's good that's a really good flavor I love that apple taste okay I'm gonna try and stop talking I just got one of these sparkle mesh they had lots but I want to see what the fallout's like before I buy more and for projects and uh, things like that, shakers. But I hate bad fallout in my tool, so I didn't want to get too many. I just wanted to see what it's like first. A couple people were showing these. I use these all the time. So they're just the paint pens. This is the Crafter Square version. I use these all the time. They're awesome. They had the glass writer ones, but these work just as well on glass. Like, I've, you know, given wine to people before, and, you know, you write a message on, on the actual bottle. They work fine. So, anyway, I got one of each of the gold and silver. I use them a lot, especially at Christmas. Just, we were getting low on scotch tape, so I just grabbed one for now. These just go in our, you know, upstairs junk drawer kind of thing. I got, oh, here's the other water bottles. I got some safety pins and mainly for these little guys. I have lots of that size, but I really wanted the little tiny ones. Thought they'd be really, really awesome in paper crafting. So, two packs of those. I got, okay, this I'm gonna wait and show you for last because I wanna see if you guys can guess what I'm doing with that project. I found these felt, I showed the gingerbread earl, men early, I got the Santas, and I got them in the snowflakes, aren't they beautiful? I did not get the Christmas trees or the ornaments, uh, I don't see me using those, so I didn't get those, and the word felt I have from last year, didn't end up using them, so I didn't get those, but they have them. Alright, I got... They came to my Dollar Tree, you guys. So I got them in all three sizes. And I picked up some from a friend, for a friend. She knows who she is. And so there's, uh, sorry guys. Anyway, we'll get to them. But yeah, there's three different sizes. There's like the big, huge in the uh, frosted beads. There's a big size, a middle size, and then a baby size. So I got two of each. I got those. Now I'm rushing because I talk too much. <laughs> um, all right, for me, I didn't get 
everything, but I got these for a friend. I got them in these, uh, like a little flower shape. Actually, I should put her stuff aside, but anyway. And the stars. I didn't get those for myself, but I did get these ones for myself and one for her. And I, okay, there's the huge ones there. Okay, so yeah, anyway, then I did get these metallic beads in this one, just the flat disc. And I got two of the, these colors, glow beads. I don't have those. And then I also got two of these colors. So, so, so pretty and fun. Okay, back to Christmas, I guess, sorry. Uh, I did get these snowflake stickers. Thought they'd be really cute in any project, whether it's paper crafting or home decor. I wanted to get some, and you get 36 pieces of those. Um, four in that one, eight in that one, and I believe the gingerbread men were four. I needed a sanding block really bad, so I just got one. Lots of sandpaper, but I needed the block. Oh, <laughs> This has to go in my son's backpack. Uh, they, now that because it's COVID and everything, they're not using the school's supplies. The kids have to have their own, so they have to have scissors now. So my one son needed a pair of scissors and he's in grade eight, so did not want the kid's scissors. <laughs> and I only have, so it's really funny with scissors. They either have the kid's scissors in the size that would be awesome for school or like the little, fussy cutting scissors or these so I just got him a pair of this size it was the smallest one of these type scissors so they are for him for school just grab two more of the beacon glue we all know this stuff's awesome every time I go I just grab more for the stash and I got super glue I love using this for my nails <laughs> which I have an Aliexpress haul coming up as soon as I can do it so yeah I got some awesome awesome nails in so yeah that's what that's for and now I have a bag to put this stuff in oh my goodness like I said this is this is this has been sitting here for a while okay. this I was super excited to find you guys and I'm behind in videos it's been very busy so I don't know if anyone else has hauled these, but in the towel section, so I'm kind of picky with Dollar Store towels. These are from Linen Core Canada, and Linen Core is a really good company. Sears used to have these kind of towels. And it says sports yoga towel, um, 14 by 47, 100% cotton. I'm gonna open one up. I'm gonna show you. They are like super good quality, like the finish. Like these are the kind of towels you would find. I know Sears is closed up here, guys, but like at the bay. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like the really good towels. I got two. I'm gonna see how they wash up. Yeah, Linen Core. Linen Core is a really good company here. Oh yeah, these are awesome. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I love these. So they're nice and long. So they're, they're called a yoga towel. I didn't realize they were this long. I guess I don't pay attention to measurements. So we're talking like over a meter, you guys. And why I got these is my husband and I, these are the colors in our bathroom. Like not the boys, the boys get dark towels these days, but I love like whites and off whites in our bathroom. And our hand towels are kind of, they've seen better days. So, yeah, and these will hang over the bars. We've got long bars, so these are going to look really, I got two, oh, I'm so glad. So I got two, I'm going to go grab two more, I think, next time I get chicken feed up there. And I was, these will look really nice hanging with an over towel. Now, I don't have, like, a bathroom type one right now, but, like, oh, actually, I do. A decor one, you know? So, yeah, I'm happy. So, yes. That is an amazing buy, you guys, for about $25 for Linen Core at Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple videos ago, I hauled this washcloth set in gray. And remember I said I wish I'd gotten more because I have enough to make two or three gift baskets with those bath bombs, that bath bubble bath and everything I got there. 
and I regretted not getting another set. Well, the gray was gone. That's okay. They had a black set. I wasn't a fan of it, but I did like this white. So it says soak your troubles and then it's got like that. Um, it's not green. It's not blue, but yeah, in between. Uh, so I got that and then I got it in this one in the hand towel and I just thought that'd be really cute going in that gift basket for Christmas and that's this is what I'm saying I know this is off white you guys but like you know what I mean over your towel bar you could hang like that over and make it look all fancy so but this one's not for me it's for gifts but see what I mean like this is awesome for gifts and for like decor and everything but see what I mean where like this the it's it's sewed in tighter so this is gonna last so much longer and that's, I'm really picking the towels, so yeah. Okay, that. Going on, going on. Um, where is, okay. I, this is where I'm going to get to the point in the video. I want you guys to see if you know what I'm planning with this. If anybody gets it, I don't know, you're going to get bonus points. Okay, so I got this cheap Barbie fashion doll. Nothing to do for a Christmas project, okay? I can make two things with this Barbie, okay? So the outfit I'll just give to my little cousin niece, if she's still in the Barbies. I don't think my nieces are anymore, so... Well, whoever is into Barbies or my friend Yvonne's daughter is going to get the dress. We don't need the dress. We need the body parts. Okay, so got that. Next I have for this project... I have gotten this little tea set or these shot glasses or these plastic condiment cups. Whatever works, I will be using, but I don't I don't know exactly. So yeah, if you know what I'm making, I want you to tell me. If you don't, you're gonna have to wait. So I just thought it was really cute and the rest of the stuff. I thought the plates and the spoon I could uh, spray paint using crafting. I, I don't know. I have I can use this stuff. I, I'll come up with something. Look at we always do. We're crafters, right? So for a buck twenty-five, yes, please. So got that. And then like I said, there's ten condiment cups. If this is too doesn't work for what I want to do, be fine for the kids to send you know dip and stuff to school until. They get used up. I'll keep rewashing them, but they eventually crack and stuff. So, yeah. And the shot glasses, well, same idea. If I need it for the project, awesome, because this one's like that size, not your big typical shot glass that I kind of like. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. You get 24 pieces. And if not, we can make some shooters with these at Christmas. Be really cute to make. Uh, What's that? Like Grinch with the green and you could put some like do red jello shooters in there and make it all Grinchy with like a whipped cream, you know, make it all like dark, uh, yeah, Grinchy. So they'll work regardless. They will get used. Okay. More Spanish moss. I needed to replace mine from my DIY challenge. I was collab. I was in on the weekend. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. You guys, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, I just had to replace one of the Spanish moss. And in that video, I also said I had to use the wet floral foam, which I was kind of bummed out about because wet foam is harder to find than the dry foam. So anyway, I just got two dry foam because I was like right out. So yeah, now I need to replace my wet foam, but they didn't have any at this Dollar Tree, so I'll get more. All right. I don't know why, probably because it was, I don't know, it just happens. All my liquid soaps were gone. All we had until I went was dish soap and the bar soap to, to, for hand washing. My refills were gone. My extras were gone. My trailer stash, gone. So I just grabbed these noise there. They are the Alibi Lemon and Mandarin. I haven't tried this one yet because it went in the boys' bathroom. And this one I have in our bathroom and at the kitchen sink absolutely love this this smells so good so anyway it's hand soap doesn't really matter anyway so I got a whack of them you guys so anyway I'm just gonna put those back in the box and 
the crafting oh i've already showed those just just more of those the crafting ladies have showed these you guys the cutting mats now again tina kazarian and linda have done demos on these and in their die cutting machines instead of like um both both ladies have done it a different way so i will link those videos down below and i also have another friend who's putting a video up that's already done her video as well and i will once she's ready i will put her video down below all three of them did it different isn't that crazy so i want you guys to go and see how you can use these in your big shots they work and they're not self-healing but as tina k said in her video neither are the um ten dollar cutting mats at michael's or the, on amazon they show the mark when we put them through anyway so yeah so i got i don't know how many i got did i get four i got four so yeah thanks ladies that was awesome it's gonna save us how many i'm actually going to try them in the gemini as well um yeah because i have the the gemini machine so i don't think it's going to be any different the gemini just you don't crank you put it through right like a laminator so Okay, I got some of these for a friend. I already have those, but I got more. And I got, oh, I'm not showing those. They are for a friend, but I don't want her to know. Oh, sorry, going back to the Barbie and the dishes, I also needed this for part of the project. If I say it's for the shoes, have I given it away? You guys let me know if you know. Okay. Then I was excited to find these. I am... Where are they? Oh, God. I am really behind in videos, you guys. I'm trying... When I had the cold, I was trying so hard to get caught up to you guys. But... Okay, there's more coming. I found these stickers only in gold. I hope they bring them out in silver and other metallics. But for now, I got them anyway. Uh, they are these gold, they're called metallic stickers, but they're sentiments and banners and stuff. You could make beautiful birthday cards with these. Well, that one birthday, right on it. Oh, sorry. Okay. sorry, I'm getting over a head cold, you guys. I was telling my friends yesterday when I was uh, texting and what's happening with them that my brain is like on dial-up speed right now. We're not running at high speed right now. Oh my gosh, something's missing. I got more of these. That's why I'm upset because I've showed you all my bags. So, oh, hope I didn't leave them at the store in another bag. But I did get, yeah, because they had those in, they had these in butterflies. I didn't buy the butterflies, but I bought the other one. And what was it? It had like a bicycle. It was so cute, you guys. Oh. Anyway, I got these. They'll go real, and I, you guys have seen these, but uh, they will go really good with the, those journaling card sets that we all got back in the spring. And that's why I got them. They're all together. When I'm ready to use them, I'll be good to go. So that's what they're for. They are for those projects. Okay, I'm just going to pull out of the bag. Maybe they're in there in the bottom. Oh, I'm so nervous. Anyway, because I don't get up there very often. I got more of these. I have a bunch of cutting dies I need to show you guys in my alley haul, so I need to get them ready and cut out, so I just needed more of the magnets to put them on. So that's what those are for. There's soap. Oh no, here's the jumbo jumbo, so there's the big mama of those. Got one roller cutter. I just want to see how it does. I know you guys have shown them. I haven't seen any demos or anything. I have the Fiskars ones for sewing. So I thought I would get this one for paper cutting because we're not using my good one, my good sewing one in any paper cutting ever. So we're going to try this one. See how I like it. I got a couple of these for some Christmas projects. The color of the sleigh doesn't matter. I'm probably going to paint them anyway, but I got one red and one, like, what's that word I'm trying to say? Let's say silver, but that's not, oh, galvanized. There we go. And, oh, they are there. Okay, good. Okay. I was so happy to find these. 
However, when I got them home, I realized there's no holes in them, but that's no problem. I get my husband to show me how to put holes in them. <laughs> and I'll do it. He'll do it for me if he has time. But anyway, the diced wood cubes, aren't they so cute? There are no holes in these, you guys. So you can't use them for beading. But in crafting or whatever, I do want holes in mine. So, yeah, I love these colors. So I got them in the big size. Uh, this one has 21 pieces, so this one's 0.6 inches. Then I got them in the next size down, which is 0.5, so basically just over half an inch in that size. And, yeah, they had, oh, no, I did get them. I was just saying I didn't get the small size, but I did. Of course I did. Uh, 35 in the just under quarter of an inch right yeah and in that size are they adorable they're like little dice and you could do like die die project or make die with them they're awesome you guys so here they are ah, i know it's this long i gotta stop okay i also got these i haven't seen anybody call these but i'm sure you guys have seen you just want them because of the colors but these matte beads in these hearts and I keep saying, and I will, I'll eventually get to it, probably not till after Christmas. We are hot in Christmas and Halloween right now, but I have a Bring Back the 80s series I'm going to be doing, and I needed those for that. And we're getting there, you guys, so just more of those. And I got this Let It Snow Snowman sleigh. He is adorable, but I wanted it for the sleigh, and I'll, I'll probably reuse him somehow in a project but it's the sleigh I wanted. Oh, I got this coconut patty. Apparently these are delicious and like Bounty, so we're gonna give them a taste test. Everybody at my house loves Bounty and the, those dollar Emma ones, island bars. Okay, last few items and I'm gonna roll out here, sorry. Uh, I got two craft clamps. I wanna see how they do before I get more, but they look really good quality. I just use my husband's in the garage if I need them, but they're pink. I'm on my own. Okay, here we go with the last of these, and that concludes the haul. So here's the next one. Like I said, there there are butterflies, but I I didn't care. I didn't personally care for them for what I would use them for. But here is the flowers. Isn't that so pretty? Like I said, I hope they bring them in like silver and other metallics because I'll use them. I would get piles and I would use them all the time. But gold, yeah. And then this is like my favorite. Look at the bike, the clock, the flower pot, the bird cage, the buck. Look at it! The swing. So I got two of those because it's my favorite. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back with another haul, same outfit because I got to get through these today. I hope you enjoyed and uh, hope you're all doing well. And I will be back with more hauls and more DIYs soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.